This is a short video explaining the process of installing plutonium. It's great for simply playing with your friends, or for people wanting to explore the games with console commands, or even general modding such as custom maps and custom game modes. It's very simple to do, so let's get started. First, I'd recommend by preparing the process by installing plutonium, registering for an account, and creating a folder in your hard drive. First, install plutonium from the link in the description, or search Call of Duty Plutonium. While that's downloading, I'd recommend registering for an account. This is essentially your login details and your username and game. Keep in mind that it can be changed at any point, and another thing to note is that the username is case sensitive. Next, go to File Explorer and select the drive you wish to use. Right after selecting the drive, simply right click in an empty space and create a new folder, naming it Games. It can be named to anything, but I recommend using games. The final step is downloading Qubit Torrent. I have a link in the description for you to download. Simply download it, follow the guided wizard, and open it. You're now finished with the preparation, which honestly is the meat and potatoes of the process. Next, select the game you wish to download. Some things to note are the names of the titles, and it's very easy to explain. T4 is World at War, T5 is Black Ops 1, and T6 is Black Ops 2. I'll be using T5 or Black Ops 1 for this example. You can either go to the Plutonium website and download it from there, or you can use the links in the description. And keep in mind that you do unlock the entire game, both multiplayer and zombies, and all the DLC. Simply download the torrent of whichever game you'd like, and open the file using Qubit. A screen will pop up asking for your preferences. Select this folder icon, navigate to the drive you created the games folder in, and highlight the games folder. Do not use any other folder. This is where all of your Call of Duty titles will be going in. Simply select the games folder and hit OK. Wait for the download to complete. You'll know when it's done when it says 100% or seeding. When it is finished, right click the file and hit pause. Finally, open Plutonium. I'd recommend adding it to your taskbar, your start menu, or your desktop to easily find it. Log in and select the game you downloaded, either multiplayer or zombies, it doesn't matter which one. Click Setup and navigate to the Games folder. Simply left click once on the game you downloaded and hit Select Folder. You're now finished. After clicking play, the game will either launch immediately or it'll download other necessary files, usually taking about a minute. The process is the same for the other titles as well, such as World at War and Black Ops 2. And I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll do my best to help you. Good luck and enjoy!